For every coconut crack to make oil, about one pound of husk gets left behind. Farmers often burn these massive piles or just leave them to rot. But not here in the province of Cebu in the Philippines. One company has figured out a way to transform them into biodegradable insulation for coolers. It was not really our invention, it was the, the palm tree. Most of the coolers around here are made with plastic foam, which breaks apart easily, is hard to recycle, and often winds up in waterways. But is coconut insulation as efficient? And can you really replace plastic foam with coconut waste? Nearly 350 million coconut trees grow in plantations all over the island nation. Farmers like Edgardo Antipolo harvest their trees every three months. His hands and feet fit into little notches carved into the trunk as he moves toward the fruit high above. Coconut trees can grow to over 80 feet tall. But there are other risks besides falling. They collected about 3,000 coconuts from this harvest, worth about $270. That includes money for the husks that protect the inner shell of the coconut meat. In the past, they would be thrown out or burned. But now, the Fortuna Cools factory receives up to three truckloads of whole coconuts a day, which they will turn into insulation. The company collects the fruits from more than 250 small farms within miles of the processing plant. First, workers split the tough outer shell on a sharp spike called a bong bunot. The nuts are separated and open for the meat inside. So this is the coconut meat, which they would bring to another process of cooking, where they can convert this into coconut oil and other oil derivatives. Julius Bucatora grew up on his family's coconut farm. Today, he is Fortuna Cool's director of operations. The coconut farmers is the poorest sector of farmers. I found the opportunity to actually go back to my roots and, and give back. The husks dry for up to a week before going to what's called a decorticating machine. Inside, they are crushed and spun to loosen the fibers from the outer sheath. So from this husk, they can recover the fibers and some cocoa peat. The cocoa peat holds water well, making it ideal for irrigating plants. A spin through the sifting machine removes any remaining dust. The fibers are now ready to be made into insulation. Strands get layered over each other and stitched together by a needle punch, producing a claw. A hydraulic press uses heat and pressure to fuse the strands together. Finally, workers cut them to the proper size. And voila, coconut insulation. So once we are ready with the panels, we insert it to the sleeves. And this, it now serves as the insulation for this, for this bag. But at first, the entrepreneurs who started Fortuna Cools were trying to solve a problem for fishermen rather than find a use for coconut waste. I wish I could tell you that a coconut fell on my head one day and, and I, when I woke up, I realized that I had a million dollar material on my, on my head. But um, yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't quite that, that perfect of a story. In 2018, David Cutler and his business partner, Tamara Meckler, noticed that small boat fishermen who went after big fish like yellowfin tuna needed help. The fishermen had no way to keep their fish fresh and in a high condition from the time it was caught in the middle of the ocean to the time it reached the shore or the market uh, several hours later. Our very first products were actually made out of plastic, I'm a bit embarrassed to admit. But the cheap plastic broke easily and had to be replaced often. That's when they noticed coconut husks piling up everywhere. And so that started as just a convenient prototyping material for us. And it emerged as a really potentially high performance and affordable material that we could use over the long term. Their first batch of 200 coconut coolers were large enough to fit a whole tuna, but collapsible so they could fit into tiny boats. Hence the company name, Four Tuna. Get it? 
Now, these fishermen can stay out at sea longer. But why do coconut husks work for this kind of thing? Coconut fiber happens to have a lot of these trapped air pockets. And so we can kind of harness that natural uh, insulating capacity as our insulation. The fibers help protect the inside of the fruit from the hot tropical sun. Under a microscope, they even look similar to expanded polystyrene foam, what many people call styrofoam. Styrofoam coolers are used extensively throughout the Philippines for pretty much anything that requires insulation. Especially for seafood. In the Philippines, over two million people work in seafood-related industries. Here we are in Cebu's biggest fish market. So this is where most of the fish trades is done. Every day, thousands of people buy and sell fish using plastic foam boxes. Once it gets loaded with fish, it moves to the next vendor who will provide a new styro box and then the consumer bringing in their styro box. The boxes' benefits, being lightweight and cheap, are also their biggest problems. It easily breaks down into microplastics. These are the ones that are easily washed onto the waterways. It goes to the river, and then from the river it goes to the, to the ocean. They're so small that fishes will consume them like, like their regular food. Those microplastics stay in the, in the digestive system of the fish, and the fish will not grow and will not consume food uh, anymore. So in that case, they, they tend to die, and then it, it stops the whole cycle of replenishing the, the fish system. These plastic-filled fish might also pose a danger to humans who eat them. Microplastics can penetrate human organs and even destroy red blood cells. On top of that, one of the building blocks of polystyrene foam is a known carcinogen. It's, it's a traditional way of uh, using to store cold food, and we never had any replacement for, for that in, in a commercial level. And since the boxes are 98% air, you need a lot of them to make recycling profitable, and few places have the equipment to do so. But foam boxes are not just confined to the Philippines. They're used at most of the world's top fishing ports. In Japan, over 15,000 pounds of fish boxes get dumped every day. The British seafood market annually goes through 22 million of them, a figure that rises by 10% every year. We're trying to replace as much plastic foam with natural fiber as we possibly can and benefit uh, thousands and thousands of coconut farmers in the process. Fortuna Cools is now working with seafood suppliers in the Philippines to replace the styro boxes with coconut ones. But it's also pivoted from coolers for fishermen to ones for regular consumers. Co-founder Tamara Meckler moved to New York City to market Fortuna's new nutshell cooler, which builds on the original idea. We settled on collapsibility and foldability as a really critical feature for our coolers. The company also makes the exterior shell in the Philippines using recycled plastic bottles. Each nutshell cooler is made with 37 coconut husks um, for insulation, as well as 50 recycled plastic bottles for the outer liner material. Fortuna Cools claims nutshell coolers can keep ice frozen for up to 48 hours. We've sold over a thousand nutshell coolers, and we have another thousand in the pipeline. And they're already trying to improve the design by making it completely biodegradable. So far, we haven't found the perfect uh, natural liner. That's why we're using recycled polyester. But it's something we're working hard that can match the story of the coconut fiber. They've processed more than 600,000 coconuts so far. And in 2022, they brought in over half a million dollars in revenue. The company aims to help more struggling coconut farmers as it provides a suitable replacement for plastic. But once you start telling them the story of, you know, show, you show them the coconut fiber, you know, we can actually make this coconut fiber into this insulation panel, and then you show them the bag, you, you, you'll have that aha moment that will really inspire them. You know, oh, before I was just burning this, and before I was just trying to, to throw it away, and now they, they see this very beautiful product. 